Hi, I'm Amy Lewis with Solid Fire, and I'm here with Ed. Ed, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Ed Baldoff. I'm a solution architect with uh, Solid Fire, and it's focused on OpenStack. Okay, speaking of OpenStack, we just got back from OpenStack Summit. What were some of the trends? What were some of the observations? What was interesting for you at that show? So OpenStack Summit, this year, this uh, go around, there was a lot of stability uh, discussions. There was a lot of discussion around uh, federated uh, authentication. And so those were kind of the two, two of the big trends. In the block storage area, we're, we're working on some maturity features, some other things around quotas, uh, volume types, things to, to add more features into Cinder. Right, and what does this mean for end customers? It really allows end customers to be more flexible with their uh, deployments of OpenStack, how their, their storage works in the back end, how they can deploy multiple um, back ends, different um, quality service, different characteristics of that back end. Um, we hope to actually get the replication and other features as to be self-service portals to have that stuff into OpenStack backend. So those are the things we're working through. It's not all there yet, but we're getting there. And a lot of it is there and a lot of it's usable in the way we have it today with volume types and quality service and quotas and things like that. So what interests you as a technologist? Is it the kind of, does it feel like a sandbox? Is it something you like to play in? Uh, yeah, OpenStack's really, it is a, it is a, kind of an open environment, right? I mean, there's, there's, we can look at the code, you can go, when you're trying to figure stuff out, it's, it's good, you can go debug it. You don't just have to call the guys at tech support. So that's been pretty nice. Um, I don't know, I'm learning a lot, and in, in I think the customers will love to deploy this, and it, it's very useful, so. Awesome. Are, I was gonna say, I know this about you secretly, that you also have an expertise in uh, carnival-type machines. Is this true? Of course you're going to bring that up. Yes, we, we actually have a claw crane machine in our booth, and I got to be the uh, person to fix it, and now I have de facto become the expert on fixing the claw crane. And there's pictures of me in the claw crane. So unfortunately, we don't have all the tools at this show to get it fixed again. Do you think that's going to change how when you go into arcades and other environments, are you going to look at every claw crane differently now? I am, because I now know the odds, and I will never put a quarter in one again. <laughs> I think you just provided a community service there. There you go, yes. <laughs> One in 27 is the default setting for the win ratio, so. I love it. Thank you so much, Ed. Have a good one. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.